do 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 Joe with Mr. Greg! Hi boys and girls, today I'm going to show you how you can draw something like this. It's pretty easy to do. It starts with a line that divides the sky from the dirt and then you put in a bunch of vegetables. I'll show you how to draw each one and you can put them in any order you choose. Then we'll color them in and you'll have something really nice to take home. So these images that I found online were very helpful in coming up with my plan. The line that divides the sky from the dirt is what I'm going to use to help me know what's above and below. I have to put in the roots and I have to put in the vegetables that live below the dirt, but I also have to put things above, like the leaves and sometimes the vegetable itself, like the tomatoes or the peppers like you see in this picture. I also want to include some sky. Okay? All right. Maybe even some creepy crawlies down inside the dirt. <laughs> that could be fun. Let's get started. To draw this is actually pretty easy. What you'll do is draw in the ground line. Okay? And try to make it a little bumpy but leave some room for your roots and your sky and the plants above. After that, choose a couple easy things to draw first, like carrots. Carrots are really easy. They're just a long pointy shape with a rounded top. Okay. I'm going to draw three. You can draw as many as you want. Don't make them too skinny. They're hard to color if they're too skinny. After that, I'm going to draw in some potatoes. And potatoes are really fun to pick. You pull up one plant and a whole bunch of them come with it. But they have a root that goes down through the ground. And they're all connected to that one root. And most of the plant, or the plant that you see from above the ground, is really leafy looking. So put on all the stems, and then the leaves. And I'll go back and do the carrot leaves here too. Now these leaves. I'll make them kind of look like a football. Pretty easy. Okay, you can put more on if you want. I'm just keeping it simple. As far as the uh, carrots go, draw in a couple lines going up. And then kind of do a cloud kind of a line, one direction. And then maybe come over that with another cloud line. It'll make it look like it has different layers going back. Okay, and then you saw how I colored mine. I used dark green and light green. Same with the leaves on my potatoes, I used dark and light green. Okay, on the roots of the potatoes, they're hooked on like this. They have all kinds of little hairs coming off the roots and that's how they drink their water. <laughs> right? That's how they get all their food. Okay, I'm moving along. Tomato plants. A lot of you guys like pizza. Well, pizza's not very good without sauce and sauce is made out of tomatoes. So we're going to go ahead and put in a tomato plant. If you have a different type of vegetable at your house, in your garden, you can include those. Lots of people include things like peas and 
beans, corn, garlic, pumpkins. You can make it how you want. Now you can see I'm adding all kinds of little roots coming off of my tomato plant. Now tomato plants have branches. So make sure you put on your branches. I start with the letter Y, just like as if I was drawing a tree. Now I'm gonna put in my tomatoes before I put in the leaves because the leaves aren't as important as the tomatoes for the drawing part. I know the leaves are important in real life, but for the drawing, you gotta be able to see the tomatoes and we'll just connect those real quick on there. <laughs> okay, looking good. Now, uh, the leaves on a tomato plant are actually kind of big, so you can kind of just make big, kind of rounded off shapes. They're, they're more jagged this, than this, but I'm making mine kind of rounded like a mitten or a glove. And if they overlap, like go behind another part, that's okay. You could just color it in later. So these parts would be red and the leaves would be green. And you saw I used two different colored greens there. I even used an orange on a couple of them. Maybe they aren't ripe yet. I'm only drawing one plant. You can draw as many as you have room for. I'm going to also include onions because onions make things taste good and things like soups, and salads. Uh, <laughs> that kind of looks funny, doesn't it? It's a round with a line that goes up and connects. And then you just draw a couple more of those. And you have onions. And they're related, probably, I'm guessing they're related to garlic. And garlic uh, look a lot like onions, except they have these little, uh, almost like bumps on them, on the bottom. So mine aren't perfect, but they're good enough. Onions have little teeny tiny roots coming off the bottom. Now when you go to color this in, be very neat about it and take your time. One thing that you might want to include is things like worms or bugs, maybe butterflies up in the sky or bees. You decide how you decorate it and I'm sure you'll have something that looks great. I hope you have fun and I'll see you on the next video.